Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I did this, who says you can't wear brown in summertime when it's 120 degrees outside kind of look. Um, as you can tell, I'm um, excited for fall to be here because in Arizona it's 115 degrees today, I'm pretty sure it was. And then two days ago it was like 120, so I'm baking like a chicken outside. So as you can tell, I'm ready for fall to get here. <laughs> if you would like to see this look, also at the end of the video, my camera died, so I didn't get to film me um, doing my setting spray, but it's the normal one that I used in my last video. It's the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Um, so it just cut off on that end. But if you would like to see how to get this brownish, like I said, who said you can't wear dark brown in summer kind of look time, then just go ahead and watch and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and enjoy the video guys bye hey guys welcome to my channel so obviously have to start off with science just a little pick me up because it was a long morning so for today I thought I would do a brown look for you guys so I'm gonna hydrate my face starting with the elf moisturizer and for some reason it was not working with me today pump was just acting a fool so I decided just to open it take the top off and put some on my hands rub it in that way then next I'm gonna go in with the elf mineral um, infused face primer put that all over my t-zone and smooth that out onto my cheeks forehead nose and chin and then also hydrate myself with a little bit of the Smashbox photo finish primer for eyelids today, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in my actual shade. Thank God I got it. And blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I feel like using concealer and then going with eyeshadow really helps it stay on longer for my eyelids uh, as opposed to an eye primer. An eyeshadow primer, it just doesn't really work when I do an eyeshadow primer. So then next, I'm going to go with the Morphe 35O palette. Take that light tan shade and use that as my transition color. That is really going to help all the colors blend together and look effortlessly and seamlessly because I know this is a dark brown look and I wanted it to not look like I got punched in the eye or that, you know, the color wasn't supposed to be there. So putting this transition color first really helps and really helps blend all the shades together. Don't mind, I am also watching Friends while I get ready. <laughs> Next, I'm going back in with 35O palette, taking that dark brown shade. And putting that color on a more precise fluffy um, elf brush and blending that into my crease to define it a little bit more I am also going to go back and forth into the palette to get the color that I like I know this is a dark brown look but I think you guys would really like this look so that's why I did it then I'm going back in the Morphe 25B palette picking up a dark brown shade in that palette as well and putting that into my crease but more focusing that color more on the lid the outer part of my lid and a little bit into my crease just blending back and forth when I have just a little bit of product I blend it into the corner of my eye um, and then when I have the most product that the most product goes on the outer part of my eye so I'm just going to continue blending that out on both sides going back and forth into the palette so I again once achieve the color that I like. It's really just a lot of blending in this video, going back and forth with the different colors and the different uh, brushes that I use and just going back and forth until you get what you like. Then I'm going to go back into the 25B palette, pick up this dark purple shade. Um, it's mainly brown. Um, Focusing that color on my outer V of my eye just to deepen it up and make it a little bit more smoky and I'm going to also do that on the other eye really just focusing this color on the outer V part of your eye and going back and forth like windshield wipers again picking up all those different brushes to blend it out making sure there is no harsh lines Going into the Morphe 35O palette, picking up this dark shimmer color. Um, it's a brown shimmer color, and I thought it would look really nice in, on my lid as my shimmer for today. And then I'm going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and 
and intensify it more because I thought it just needed a little bit more intensity. And again, once again, going back and forth with those brushes, make sure you're blending it out so it doesn't look like you got punched in the face because trust me, that would suck. For foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 305, taking my Morphe brush, blending that out, and then I will go in with my Beauty Blender to buff it out a little bit more. I like doing the brush because it, you know, puts it where I would like the foundation to go and focus a little bit more on. And it also doesn't soak up as much product as a Beauty Blender would or a Beauty Sponge would. So I place the foundation with the brush first and then I go over it with my Beauty Blender. Then for concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Sand because I didn't get the color, my right color, um, but I do have my right color now. So taking that color, just focusing on my cheeks, forehead, nose, and underneath the eye, also taking my Beauty Blender, buffing that out so it all smooths and I don't crease underneath my eyes. That's the reason why I love this concealer is it does not crease underneath my eyes and does not make me look like I'm 80 years old. For powder, I'm taking the CoverGirl Loose Powder in the shade 115, putting that everywhere I put concealer so just make sure I do not crack. Also going to bake a little and then now my brows are on. Did those off camera, save some time. Next I'm taking the e.l.f. powder brush and dusting away the baking, dusting it all over my face and along my neck. Just so I make sure I'm all one color from face to neck and nothing looks off because that would be horrible. Then for my under eyes, I'm taking, going back into the Morphe 25B palette, taking that dark brown shade and running that along my eyelid or the, my lash line. Then picking up those that brown shade right there taking that on a more precise elf brush and running that as tight to my lash line as possible to blend it all together and then going in with the first blending brush and blending that out. Real quick Zion spray because I'm telling you there's a lot to do today and I need to pick me up. Then for mascara I'm taking the Maybelline, I think it's called Great Lash Mascara in Blackest Black I believe is what it's called and coating those for my top and my bottom lashes. I really like this um, mascara. I've been using this mascara since high school when I would only wear mascara. So I really like this. It's basically a ride or die for me, a holy grail, never give it up. There are also, there are other mascaras that I use, but I just really like this one because it's, it's been with me since day one and it's never failed me, not once. So for eyeliner, I'm taking the NYX um, eyeliner in the shade black and I really like this eyeliner it doesn't smudge for me it doesn't get um, in the corner of my waterline or my um, eyes so that's why I really like it and I also found this at Ulta so you can find it there too for bronzer nonetheless I'm taking the physicians formula butter bronzer ever since I discovered this I'm telling you I love it it is amazing you need to have it in your collection I don't know how many times I can say that you'll probably hear me say it in my other video because it is such a good bronzer and it's at the drugstore so can you get any better than that a good bronzer at the drugstore I don't think so it is absolutely amazing and it smells like coconuts like coconuts people coconuts amazing then for the highlight oh my god look at that highlight yes that is a bare minerals highlight um, illuminating veal that I recently discovered my parents boy or my boyfriend's parents Got me that for Christmas this year or last year, and I've been using it nonstop. It is so good. For lips, I'm taking the NYX um, lip liner in the shade London to line my lips. Fill in those suckers. Make sure that the liquid lip matches and stays on longer. Then for the actual lipstick, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, I believe it's called in the shade London as well. Do a little dance, break it out. That one's in the shade London as well. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. That is it for today and check me out next time.